you're looking to set up your business account on Pinterest the smart and easy way, then you are in the right place. Hey there, this is Shruti from digitalempires.co and in today's video, I'm taking you behind the scenes of how to set up a business account on Pinterest with this step-by-step -step tutorial. So without further delay, let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing that you need to do to start using Pinterest for your business is to actually set up a business account. Now you're not gonna set up a personal account because you are gonna be using it for business and you need access to the insights and the analytics that are only provided to business account holders. So you can just look at the top right corner and click on sign up, which is gonna give you a pop-up to basically create a new account. Now, of course, you can scroll down and see that there are different options. So you can create a personal account, which is the very first default option that you get. You can also sign up with Facebook or with Google, but since we want to create a business account, we are gonna skip all of these options and we're gonna go to the bottom and click on create a business account. So of course, this is where you would set up an email that you can set up with your business account and create a password so that you can log in anytime you want. I'm just gonna create a new account because I already have a couple of Pinterest accounts. So I'm gonna create a fake account just for this video and show you how this process works really so that you know exactly how it works. And then click on create account. Now, of course, Pinterest is going to send you a confirmation email just to make sure that you are someone who is a valid person and is not someone who has just, you know, been a bot or a robot trying to click this account. So I'm going to close this. All right, so before we go forward and we start doing any of the things that, that we actually need to do to promote a business, we still need to create a profile and curate it in a way that represents your business best, right? So let's say that I'm creating an account for my business website, which is called digitalempires.co. So I can create a name of my business, which is Digital Empires. I can say that, yes, I do have a website and I can put my website email here. So I'm just gonna get that as well. Although I already have an account for this website, I'm gonna just show you this process just so you can see how this works. And then you can pick the country that you're in, whichever it is that you, whichever region you're in, because based on where you are, the kind of features that you have access to as a business account will really differ. And of course you can pick your language here as well. So let's say that I pick English US, now, what is the focus of your brand? Again, you are going to be shown all of the categories that are some of the most popular categories across Pinterest. Now, it doesn't mean that if your business falls outside of these categories, you cannot use it for, uh, for promoting on Pinterest. However, it simply means that you need to choose a category which is maybe the closest to this. And if your category doesn't fall into one of these, you can click other. So for me, for my Digital Empires website, let me check education because that is the closest because I actually do teach people how to use Pinterest for business. And then you can also go down here and see what kind of recommendations you want on your account, right? So you could say that you are a blogger if you're someone who has their own personal website and you are looking to use that for your business. You could be a consumer product or service like a beauty brand. You could be a photographer, etc. So basically different options that you have, right? So let's say that I'm going to select a publisher or a media and then click next. Now, again, another question that I don't think really matters a lot for the setting of your account, but something that Pinterest probably collects just for their own interest. So let's say, yes, I'm interested in advertising, or you can also say you're not sure yet if that is something that um, is that, you know, that you're unclear on. Not that Pinterest is going to hold you hostage for this. So again, you get a couple of different options and where you can start with the app. So you can start by checking your ad performance by making sure you install a Pinterest tag or a Google tag manager. You can work on growing your audience, showcase your brand, etc. So since we don't want to do any of the heavy lifting, such as installing tags for ads and all of that, let's click on showcase your brand and go on building our profile. Now, now that you have the basic setup in place, here's where we are going to really curate a profile that actually speaks out to your brand and is something that people would like to find you on as Pinterest, as well as all of your future customers that might want to find you, right? So of course, if you have a logo, you can click here and you can add a logo. You can choose a photo depending on whatever it is that you are um, facing. So if you if it is a personal blog or it is a personal website, you can add a photo of yourself. But if it is, let's say, a uh, website store or maybe a shop that you have online, then it would be ideal to have your logo on it, right? You can click here and you can actually change your username if you want. So I can make it something related to what I have here, or I could just keep it simple according to my name. Really, it doesn't matter. The only thing that you need to do is to remember it when you log into Pinterest again. 
Now, what's really important here are two different things. One, what exactly will be your display name? So let's say Digital Empires Learn Pinterest Marketing for Bloggers and Entrepreneurs. So that's something that I want to add, but of course there is a limit. So we want to make it a little bit shorter so that we are able to fit in the title. Now, again, the reason why you're doing this is to add the kind of keywords that you want your audience to find you with. So I want my audience who is interested in Pinterest marketing to really find me easily. And that's why I want Pinterest marketing to be in my headline. You could also make it social media marketing or anything else, depending on what's most relevant to your brand. The idea here is to use a keyword that you think people would be searching for on Pinterest for your business, right? And next, once you've done your display name, then you'd want to add what is it that your business actually does? So let's say that this is a website where you can learn how to use Pinterest for business, how to use Pinterest for bloggers to grow your traffic, leads and income. Yeah. And of course, if you have a something special, a special offer, maybe a discount code, you can also add that here in your profile and give them a link to that if that is something that you want to promote as well. Here's where you can add the website URL. So I'm going to add the website URL here. If you have an Impressum, like let's say you have a um, data privacy policy, etc., then you can add that here as well. You can make a public email address so that people can reach out to your business whenever they're looking for you. You can add all of these details which are specific to your business as well. Now, next, we're going to click on done. We're going to save all of these edits that we've made. And then once the profile is saved, what we're going to do is we're going to go on claim. And here is where you're going to be claiming one by one all of your social media as well as business accounts. So if you have a website, which in this case would be digitalempires.co, you can click here and you can go on claiming your website. Now, there are different ways in which you can claim your website. You can add an HTML tag. So if you have, let's say, WordPress and you have um, a back end to your theme, you can add this tag so that Pinterest can verify your website. If you don't have if you don't have coding knowledge and you don't know how to do it, you can simply look for a plugin like adding headers and footers, which is very easily available for free in the WordPress library and use that to verify your domain. I'm not exactly sure how this works for Squarespace or Wix, but I think you can Google that and find that out. But it should be pretty simple to get this started. Once you've added the domain, added the tag, Pinterest is going to take another 24 hours to make sure that your website is verified. And once it's, web, once it's verified, it's always going to know that you are the account that actually holds um, value for this particular website. Here's where you can connect your Instagram account. Again, something really, really cool about Pinterest that you can connect these two accounts and you can cross pin your content from Instagram as well. Here's where you can connect your Etsy account. So if you're an Etsy seller, this is awesome for you because you can directly post your pins um, or your images from your Etsy account into your Pinterest account and start, you know, making them shoppable right away. And here's where you can claim your YouTube account. So if you are on YouTube, you can do that as well. Now, again, you can go into your settings and figure out if you want to have notifications or not. Do you want them by email, so on and so forth. All of these things are, again, things that you will have to personalize based on your needs. Now, when you click here, you have a lot of different options. So you can add a cover photo for your business if you want. I will not add one right now because I'm just making a fake account. But of course, make sure to add a cover photo and even a profile picture here so that you know exactly what your business represents and people who are finding you are also able to find that out. So as you can see, when someone comes in this profile, they see this is a website where you can grow how to use blah, blah. They see the, the description of my business. They see my username and they also see my website. So if they want to click through and go to my website, they can do that right away from here itself. Another really awesome thing about using Pinterest for business, it just gives you another platform to reach hundreds of millions of users every month. Now, now that we have the basics out of the way, what do we do next? The next step is to create and curate a profile that suits your ideal audience. So what is it that your ideal audience would be searching for and what kind of content or products that you can offer that would be matching them? So here is where we would be creating boards and pins that would be our top categories. So you can simply click here and you can choose the option of creating a board. So first things first, let's create, let's say, two main boards that we want to share with our audience. So let's say one of these boards is going to be on Pinterest tips. All right. Now, keep in mind, this is the account that I'm creating for my marketing business. So it makes sense for me to have a board called Pinterest tips. And then I can just simply click on more ideas. I can look for ideas that Pinterest has brought up to me and save them directly to this board. So I always recommend having at least 20 to 30 images saved up when you're creating a board because 
no one wants to come to a profile which is completely blank and nobody would follow your boards or your account if you don't have anything on your profile, right? So whether you're using it for your business or you're using it for, let's say, your blog, either way, you got to make sure that you have a curated profile that best represents your ideal audience. Funnily enough, this is my own pin from one of my other websites. So now that we've done this, let's go back and see how that board looks like. So once we've saved a couple of pins, it's going to look like this. And of course, you can click here, you can go on edit board and you can add some more keywords as well that would represent your board. So includes blog posts and videos on how to use Pinterest for business. Best Pinterest marketing tips. Now you can watch my other video on how to create boards and how to create keyword rich boards. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time in this video to show you that. That is a completely separate video that I've made, actually more than one. So feel free to go through my Pinterest marketing tips playlist and you will have access to all of those detailed step-by-step -step videos there as well. So as you can see, now my file, now my profile looks a little bit more complete. So you have all pins, which is going to showcase all of the pins you have historically ever saved to this account. And then I have one board, which is called Pinterest tips. I can create plenty of different boards depending on what I want to showcase. So let's say I want to sell Canva templates as well from my website. So I can add Canva templates. Um, I can add online courses. I can add anything I want and basically just create boards that are relevant or congruent to the idea that I want to create, right? So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Just want to give you an idea of how this works when it comes to creating an overall profile for your business. So ideally, I would recommend that you start out with creating at least five to 10 boards. But of course, if you're a brand new business, maybe you don't have that much content or you don't have that many product ideas. But I would recommend to have at least five boards in your profile if you want to start attracting your ideal customers and your clients because they want to be able to see some kind of content to actually make sure that they can resonate to your brand. One of the ways in which you can find this is to actually look at what other people are doing. So you can type in Pinterest marketing, for example, for this particular profile. And then I can click on uh, people and see what is it that their audience is looking for or what is the kind of content and boards that they have, right? So when I type in Pinterest marketing, I see a lot of people show up. Of course, this might differ from you depending on your business. Maybe you have a photography business and you want to see what are other photographers spinning on Pinterest? How are they attracting their audience, right? And of course, there will be accounts of various sizes. So not all accounts are made equal. So let's say I want to check out what she is doing from Love Family Health. And here I can see what is her strategy? What are the kind of pins she's created? What are the kind of pins she has made in her boards as well? So when you click through to saved, you can see what are the different board options that she has. You can even do a little bit of more research and see what kind of group boards she's a part of and then see if you want to join them or maybe there is a way that you can access those boards as well again group boards is a completely different strategy i have a video on that as well make sure to check that out once you're done watching this video so the, the reason why i recommend you do this is to just get an idea of what are the topics and categories that these people have created their boards and pins in so that if you're a new business owner you can get a head start on what it is that you should be creating for your own account as well right now again what you can do is click through right here to go back to your board as i said make sure to add a photo and a cover here as well now one more thing that i want to show you um, is to actually look at your audience insights as well as what is performing so once you have enough data here obviously this account is completely empty so there's not a lot of data here but once you have posted a little bit of amount of content, you'll be able to see a lot of data to access here. Now you can check out my other Pinterest tutorial, which is my Pinterest for beginners tutorial, where I take you through my own account to see how this works. Another important thing to remember here is to actually install your Google tag uh, account so that you can make sure that your Google Analytics is actually linked to it and um, the Pinterest account knows what kind of pins or how many conversions are happening to your website so that you can track your traffic and clicks as well. Now, that's pretty much it for setting up your business account. The next thing that you will do is to start creating pins. So you can click here and you can create a pin. You can create a quick ad if you want to like, if you want to create an ad, but we're not going to get into that in this video. If you need help with ad tutorials, let me know in the comments and we can make another video on that. So here's where you would go on creating a pin and here's where you would start on your pin creation process. All right, so the final step is to start creating pins and uploading them to your account. So here is where you would go into, let's say, any sample pin just to see what it looks like to create that to your particular account. And here is where you are going to create the image. You're going to fill that out. 
and you're also going to add your title and your description as well as the link or the URL. Now, as you can see in this image, I have a checklist that I'm promoting for my business. Of course, you can have a blog post, you can have a product, you can do pretty much anything under the sun when it comes to promoting uh, on Pinterest. All you need is a destination link so that people can actually click out on that product. If you're creating a product, what you would do here is you would click here on this button and then you're going to add products here. So you can either add products by your pins or you can add the URL of the product so that you can directly promote that particular product to make sure that whenever someone clicks on this pin, they actually get led to your product, okay? So that's one of the quick hacks. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to use Pinterest for business. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you are notified of my weekly videos on how to grow your audience, income and impact online. If you want to learn more about how to promote your business on Pinterest, don't forget to check out these videos here as well. You can also check out my paid membership program called Pinfluencer Collective where we share the exact step-by-step -step roadmap that it takes to find success on Pinterest as a brand or a business owner. You can find more details in the description box below. Thank you for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.